Some of you want to become AI engineers, and some of you probably don't care about any of that. All you want to do is to be able to build AI solutions and go about your way. And that's also fine. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the AI engineer roadmap. So that way you have some sort of a, a footing and idea on how to get there. Now, if you don't want to become an AI engineer, that's also okay. And this video is also going to be helpful to you because it's going to give you some tools, at least some sort of overall idea of what tools, what uh, techniques, what skills you need to at least understand how to uh, build AI based solutions. All right, let's go ahead and get started. The beauty of the internet is that you can find essentially anything online, which is really awesome. And I found this place called roadmap that sh so essentially this is a page that allows you to see or gives you this tool this visual tool roadmap for anything that you want to learn about you want to become essentially the skills you need okay so if you go to roadmap.chs that ch i should say you'll see this is what you see now of course these things change depending on when you're watching this but essentially this is what you have here so developer roadmaps Wordmap.sh is a community of effort to create roadmaps, guides, and other educational content to help guide developers in picking up a path and guide their learnings. Now you can see here we have role-based role roadmaps. So there's a lot here. If you want to become a front-end developer, you can click here and you can go ahead and see all of these things. Okay, so uh, front-end, the things that you need to go through, the skills you need to become a front-end developer. But that's not what we're interested in here. What we're interested in here is this AI engineer. And you can see this is new, which means, well, it's new. And with the explosion of AI in the past few years, you can see that a lot of people are wanting to learn these skills. In fact, that's probably why you are here. And so we have data analysts, DevOps, backend, Android, blockchain, and all this. But AI engineer, that is the heart. So if you click here, you'll see that we have AI engineer step-by-step -step guide to becoming an AI an AI engineer in 2024. Now I do realize this is the end of the year when I am actually recording this video, uh, but this is obviously relevant in 2025. So the great thing I like about roadmap that SH, S, I need to say that right, SH, is the fact that it is an ongoing project, it's still building out this whole thing, okay? And so it's good because you can also contribute and a lot of people are contributing into these roadmaps. So let's go ahead and take a look real quick here. So it says here the prerequisites, one of these. So you should have at least front end capabilities or skills, back end, full stack and so forth. Now, if you don't know what a back end is, right? So you can click here and voila, you have the back end developer and tells you exactly what you need skills that you need to become a back-end developer javascript go so depending on each option you can choose first says pick a language and go from there all right so that is the beauty here so at the center of everything you see we have ai engineer and then the first thing that you see here is that says introduction and the cool thing is that this is all interactive in such a way where you can click and it gives you the introduction to whatever you are reading. So AI engineer is the process of designing and implementing AI systems using pre-trained models and existing AI tools to solve practical problems. So uh, the thing to understand here is that there's a difference between being an AI engineer and being a machine learning engineer or an AI researcher because a machine learning engineer is actually building large language models and all of those intricate things. Now, becoming an AI engineer, you are actually leveraging what's already there. You're working with large language models. You're working with AI tools to build AI solutions. Okay, so it's really nice and gives you also the free resources you can go and get, get into and all of that. All right, it's very good. So the first thing you can see here, impact on product development, click, and you can understand exactly what that means and have some explanations here. So it says here, AI engineering transforms product development by automating tasks, wonderful, enhancing data-driven decision-making and enabling the creation of smarter, more personalized products. All right, very cool. And we have role responsibility. So essentially it's giving you the whole roadmap, the, from the beginning to starting of this career that you may be interested in learning. 
And again, keep in mind, if you are not interested in becoming an AI engineer, but you want to learn how to build AI-based um, applications that solve real world problem, this is also a good tool to have at your disposal because you can understand what it takes, what it takes to be able to build AI products. And also speaking of AI products, I want to let you know that I do have a place where you can go and join this wonderful community of like-minded people where we build AI solutions for real-world um, usage, for your real-world use cases. It's a place where you have a community that will help you learn and or start building AI solutions. We have weekly and monthly calls where you can ask questions. There is courses so that you can actually understand the basics, the fundamentals of AI and how to build AI solutions. Um, there's code walkthroughs. There's a lot of things that you can come and enjoy and actually start building real world AI solutions. Okay, so if you're interested in joining this awesome community that is growing, um, I will leave the link in the description. Okay, coming back here, you can see that we start introduction, you can go and start reading. So what is an AI engineer click again, it gives you the definition what that is. And you can start looking at the basics. The basics is that we are using pre trained models, as we defined this AI engineering um, skill set or um, roadmap, okay, it's what what it means to become an AI engineer. So we're using pre trained models. So that means then, if you go to pre trained models here, click, it will give you what pre trained models are machine learning models that have been previously trained on large data sets to solve a specific problem. Very good. And then it goes through the benefits of pre training. Again, you can just click and start going through and reading and you have resources to go through. And the great thing also is start looking at different models, right? So we have OpenAI models. If you click here, it tells you have GPT-3 and GPT-4 uh, for text generation, conversation, translation, and also official, you can go and click here, it takes you to the OpenAI platform. And then capability, you can click here, it talks about the context length it explains exactly what that is superficially, but if you want to go deeper, you can go and understand more of that. So um, OpenAI, that's the platform that we're talking about here, they're focusing, but also on the right hand side here, you can see that we we have AI versus AGI, large language model, inference, training, embeddings. This is a very important topic when it comes to building AI solutions, understanding how AI works and building applications on top of large language models. And vector databases, yes, very important because that's where the embeddings are actually saved. And of course, we focus on the OpenAI API now. I think the reason why OpenAI API, Open API is the main focus here is because it's one of the most popular one, easy to use, right? So if you click here, it tells you exactly the OpenAI API provides access to powerful AI models such as GPT, Codex, DALI, and Whisper, which enables developers to quickly build on top of these large language models. And of course, it talks about popular AI models and all of this. So the idea here is that you can see an overall um, map roadmap on what tools, what skills, what things you need to know in order to become an AI, an AI engineer. It talks also about AI safety. That's what you that's something you need to understand. Uh, and you can click again and listen or read more and get some resources. And then we go to open open source AI. So you can actually look at open versus closed source models. So it talks about open AI versus open source LM and all these things. So and then we go into embeddings and vector databases. What are embeddings? Define that and understanding the open AI embeddings API, sentence transformers, all of these things that you need to understand. Uh, RAG use cases, if you click here, understands what RAG is, retrieval augmented generation. By the way, I have I do have videos where I talk about RAG and how to use RAG, what is RAG and so forth. So you can go and find it my channel or somewhere around here. All right. So that's what we're talking about here. RAG implementation, OpenAI uh, assistance API, uh, prompt engineer, that's a good one. AI agents, that's the biggest one because now when we talk about AI, we're talking about agents so you can actually learn what an agent is and how to go through the process of learning how to implement and create your own agents 
Okay, so there's a lot here. It talks about AI code editors that you can use, development tools, and so, so much more. Now, the thing I also like about looking into the roadmap that SH, specifically for AI engineer path, is that at the end of everything, there's always this continual learning with all the relevant tracks. So you can actually, on top of all of these tools, all of these skills that you need to learn to become proficient in AI engineering, that give you other ways or other things, other paths per se, that you should consider to even aid more, to even to add on to the skills that you're learning above here. Okay, so that is what I wanna show you. I really think it's a good idea for you to periodically come here and look at these roadmaps for AI engineer if you're interested in that. But even if you're not, again, wanting to become an AI engineer, if you are building AI solutions, whether you're using code or no code solutions, I really think it's important for you to understand at least what are the pieces that come together, right, into building AI solutions. And that is my suggestion, my recommendation to all of you. Okay, so that's about it. If you have any questions, if you want me to go through one of these these skills here, let me know. Uh, most of these skills I actually have already videos that I've created and courses and so forth. And you can find those videos on my channel. But if you want me to focus on something specific, let me know and I'll be more than happy to do so. Thank you so much. I hope this was helpful. I hope you're well. And until next time, be well.